this video I'm going to talk about how to round a certain decimal places. The trick is to multiply by a power of 10 to move the decimal, then add subtract 0.5, cast as integer, and then divide by 10, actually 10.0, to create a situation where you move the decimal back. Now I know that's maybe a little bit quick, but I'm going to use uh, a com some comments here just to walk through. So let's say I have a number like um, uh, let's go with 8.37. Now, let's talk about that. 8.37 is my number, and what I'd like to do is I would like to round that number to the nearest tenth. So really, rounding to the nearest tenth, I, this be, would become an 8.4. Let's talk about the process and how you'd actually have to do that with programming, though. So the first thing you'd want to do is you actually want to move the decimal to the right one time. We're trying to round right here. We're trying to round at right after the 3. So what we want to do is multiply by 10 in this case. So I'm going to go 10 times that number, 8.37, and what it's going to become is 83.7. So I know that seems a little bit strange, but that is the process we have to follow. We're going to round to one decimal, so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 10 to the 1 power, okay? So 10 to the 1 power. Now I'm going to use the caret here to represent 10 to the 1 just to communicate, but remember in Java that is not the correct way to do exponents. But 10 to the 1 would be used for rounding to one place. If I wanted to round to two decimal places, I would do 10 squared for two places, and 10 squared is 100, so I'd actually multiply by 100 instead, and so on. Uh, but, so what I've done is I've, I've taken my number I want to round, I run around to one pl decimal place, so I multiply by 10, or 10 on this number here, and then, so I multiply and I get 83.7, but what I want to do is I actually want to round this number, and I've made another video, I, I have another video on how to round to the nearest integer. Uh, you could watch that too if you'd like, positive integers or negative integers, I have two different videos. But I need to round the 83.7 to the nearest integer. And so the way that you do that is you first take your number and you add 0.5. And the reason that you do that is if this number is going to round up, like 83.7. When you add 0.5, you jump into the 84s. And that's good, because you're going to want 84 as your final number. If it's going to round down, when you add this, you'll still be in the 83s. But I'll add the 0.5 to my number, and now we have to think of this as 84.2. And after you do that, you are going to cast it as an integer. So we're going to cast that 84.2 as an integer. Remember, casting is, uh, there are I have videos on casting also, but casting basically is going to drop the decimal, so it's going to be 84. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 84, and I'm going to divide by 10. Now, it's very important to understand a few things here. Thing one, the reason I'm dividing by 10 is I'm trying to move the decimal place back to where it belongs. I'm trying to turn this back into 8.4. Okay, Because up in the first step here, I multiplied by 10 to move the decimal. First step is to move the 10. There, move the decimal one place to the right. And the last step is going to be to put it back where it was, to move it back one. Now, if you know about mixing data types, right now I have 84 divided by 10. That's a, that's a warning sign. I have an integer divided by an integer. So it's actually going to give me an integer answer, and that answer in, in programming, the output's going to only be 8, and that's not what I want. If that doesn't make sense to you and you don't understand that, I do have another video on mixing data types that you could watch. So in order to correct that situation, I need to make sure that these are not just all integers. And I do that simply by dividing by 10.0 and not just 10. Because now 84 divided by 10.0 will give me the correct decimal answer, which is 8.4. And remember, that's exactly what I'm looking for for my answer here. 8.37 rounded to one decimal should become an 8.4. So I've done this in a bunch of comments just to show the whole process.
Now what I'll do is I'll actually do it in uh, some code. So I'm going to set up a variable, a equals, and we'll use the same number, 8.37. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to round to one decimal place. Now, to do that, remember this process I need to follow. And I'm going to do it all in one line of code just to be more efficient. So I'm going to output, and what I want to do is output this 8.37 rounded to one decimal. So the first step I need to do, one decimal place rounded, means I need to move the decimal one place. So I'm going to take A, the 8.37, and I'm going to multiply it by 10. So 10 times A. Then the next step is, after I move the decimal, is to add 0.5 if this is a positive number. If this was a negative number, I would have to subtract 0.5. But here I'm going to add 0.5. So I multiply by 10 to move the decimal. I add 0.5 to make the decimal either jump above the next integer or stay at the current integer. Okay, after I add the 0.5, then I need to cast all of this as an integer. I need to cast my solution as an integer. Be very careful here. If you simply add the int like this, it's not going to work properly. You want to cast your entire answer, so we need to do all of this stuff first. So this now says cast all this other stuff as an integer. And here's parentheses, order operations, do parentheses first. It does all this calculation and then turns it into an integer. After that, finally, I need to divide by 10.0. And remember, it does need to be 10.0 if you want a decimal output, which is what we want. So I've walked through each of these steps. I've done it all in one line of code. So here's my A value. Step 1, multiply by 10, because I want one decimal. Step 2, add 0.5 to make the number move up an integer or stay at the current integer. Then cast it so that you drop the, all the extra decimals. And then divide back so you move the decimal back one place. And I'll <coughs> run this, and you'll see that I get 8.4. And if I want to just test this some more, I'll change my 8 to something like, let's go 10.4. See, we're supposed to go to one decimal, two, nine, eight, six, one, one. And again, remember my code, and the beauty of it is I don't need to change my code anymore because it's going to take the A value, move the decimal, add 0.5, drop all the extra decimals, and then divide back and move the decimal back. So this should round to 10.3 if I've done this properly. And there it is, 10.3. Now, just to kind of double check my code, I want to make sure that this program is not always rounding up no matter what. So if I were to change this maybe to a 10.528611, and I'm trying to round to one place, so this should just round to 10.5. And I'll run that just to prove that the code is correct and that it's working. And there's 10.5. Now, let's talk about if uh, I didn't want to round to the first decimal. What if I wanted to round this to the second decimal? There are some really quick changes here. Because all you need to do now is follow the same process, but remember that you're rounding to the second decimal. Which means to do that, we want to take the, dec the current decimal point, move it two places. And the way you move it two places is you'd multiply by 100. So here, I'd multiply by 100. And now I have to keep in mind that, okay, I multiply by 100. So currently now I will have uh, 1,052.8. I'm going to still add the 0.5. And then I'm going to have to divide the 100 back. And I'll run this just to kind of test my code here. And there's my 10.53 because this 2 should round up to a 3 because of the 8 right after it. And so really, once you practice this and once you get the hang of it, it really is quite simple. It's just the same code. You just have to decide by what number you multiply by, and that's determined by how many decimal places you want to go out. So the easiest thing to remember is, if you want one decimal place, you multiply by 10. 10 has one zero.
If you want two decimal places, multiply by 100. There's two zeros for two decimal places. You want to go three decimal places? Multiply by 1,000. One, two, three. Just remember that you have to divide back by the exact same number here. So I see 1,000 here, which means I should be rounding to the third decimal. So this 1, 2, 3, this 8 should round if I run this code. And it will be 10.529, which is correct. Just to prove my point, I'll go one more zero here, which is I see 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, which is the fourth decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 6 should stay a 6 because of the 1 right after. And we'll round to the fourth decimal place. And there it is. So that's basically how you would round. Now, just remember, if you're rounding negative numbers, you'd have to be using a minus 0.5 inside here to make that work. And again, if you don't understand the negative and why you would minus 0.5 instead of add, I do have another video on rounding negative integers.